Bitch. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Your girl is here with her first video and it's on how to get this hair, this hair style that makes you lose your home training. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I really love this hair. Um, so I'll be showing you guys how and how I achieved all of this. The hair I use is actually from Noble. It's a synthetic hair. Well, they say, they say it's human hair, but it feels synthetic, so we can say it's a kind of human hair blend hair. And it's from Noble. This is the pack of the hair that I use. So, yeah, so it's the Noble Vigorous Product Miracle Human Hair Quality. And this is the hair. I use two packs of, I use one and a half of this so in a pack you have two bundles of 26 two bundles of 24 and two bundles of 22 so in total i use and i use half of another which i shared with my best friend and so there are three bundles from the half pack so all together there were nine bundles yeah nine bundles so what i did was that i took the three um, the two 26 inches from one pack and the one 26 inches of the other pack, the half pack. And I made it up together into like, I'll show you in, in the video, but I want to just give you an explanation before the video starts. And then I put it all together into like a very long, um, a very thick um, 26 inches like weft. And I did that the same, and I did the same for the 24 and the 22 inches. And... I'll show you guys how I did the whole wrapping up into my hair for this video. This is actually not the first time I'm putting this um, bundles on my hair. This is the second. No, this is the third time actually. And this is how the hair has held up. I feel it's actually like a good brand. And it was, it was cheap guys. So the pricing of the hair. I got this in Ghana for a, a pack. A pack was... I think 49 Ghana cedis yeah I think 49 Ghana cedis yeah and then I shared the um the half price of the the half pack sorry of the other one with my friend so in total so the price of one pack and half of the pack in total that would be around um, like 74 Ghana cedis if I'm right to my calculations yeah um so yeah that was it I'll show you guys everything on how to do the hair, how to pack it up, the, the things you need. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. So guys, so for this hairstyle, we'll be needing an Eco Styler Gel of Max Hold 10, a brush to smooth in the surfaces, a big and a small comb. We'll definitely need some hair packers, preferably in black guys, and obviously the hair bundles. I know I look crazy here guys, <laughs> but we're getting into it. So first off, we want to grab our big comb and just comb out our hair, comb out any tangles, anything that will impede the slickiness of this ponytail. We don't want anything to impede it. Now I see those things flying off on my hair guys. It is dried gel. For those people that use gel, you cannot relate. But please, my hair is not dirty. You see that patch at the side of my head guys please that's how i was born no ghana weaving has done that to my edges so i don't comb in our hair it's time to start slicking this hair you want to go in with your eco styler gel guys make sure your eco styler gel you make sure it is 10 the hold is 10. now go in taking as much as your hair requires guys my hair is 4b and i took i went in about four times if your hair is 4c you might definitely need more my hair is currently also stretched out now if your hair is 4c you might need more if your hair, if your hair is a 4a type then you might need 
less but just take in as much as requires go in with that brush and work in the gel into your hair then you want to go in with your hair packer and this is where the arm work comes in you want to pack the hair exactly where your shuku that hairstyle we used to do in primary school stays on your head yes that piece you want to pack it and make sure it's tight and secure we don't want our ponytail looking all saggy and we want it looking sleek girls you can see me struggling there my arms were getting tired my arms are so tired now you want to start braiding the hair <laughs> you want to braid the hair into one and then you want to wrap around that braid the braid around the base of your ponytail that is forming the foundation of the ponytail now you want to just go in again with your eco styler gel and just swoop those baby hairs you want your edges to be looking sleek fleek whatever you want to call it girls whoop just look at that thing just like whoop <laughs> Go. that's the way people do it that is the way now at this point i realized i did rubbish on the other side so i went in again and i redid it <laughs> yeah now this next point is very important especially for we naturalistas now you see that thing that spring that thing is very important girls that is a hair mousse i got this from my local beauty supply store and you can get this literally anywhere guys just make sure that the hold is good and this is something that can make your hair last for a couple of days and not just two days or a day you want if you want your ponytails to last longer then this step must not be missed especially for we natural girls work it into the baby hairs i know baby hairs trust me they wouldn't move okay now at this point we want to grab our silk scarf girls now not a cotton scarf not any scarf a silk scarf so that it doesn't absorb all those things we just worked into our hair you want to just leave it on for about 10 minutes ten minutes is over girls and just look at that we're looking oh my god those things those baby hairs they ain't going nowhere <laughs> now we have to work in we have to act oh, as a work in i can't talk we have to wrap around the bundles now now you see that part that we separated at the beginning you want to start with those ones and wrap it around the base of the ponytail just like that then you want to start working wrapping around the weft itself bending over might make it easier for you girls now you want to bend over now you see what I, I just did yes that you want to wrap around the weft while you flip up what you have already wrapped around now flip up that part and wrap and go beneath it so that every weft looks like it's coming from the root of your ponytail yes girls that is how it is done now the end of the weft you see now we will grab the end of the weft the bundle at the end of the weft and that's what we use to secure it the same way we started is the same way we will end so you grab that weft and go around it make sure you pull as you go around you pull as you go around you pull as you go around yes girl you're doing it Now this is one bundle we're going in for the second bundle now so the same way we started bending over like i said makes it easier so you just want to bend over and then you start the same way we started for the previous bundle you get the beginning of the weft and wrap the bundle at the base of the ponytail now at this point you might want to separate what you've already wrapped around and what you are about to wrap around so that it does not disturb you so you want to grab another hair packer and then you want to separate it and move it aside so it doesn't disturb you before we start the wrapping round so just like i said before you want to flip up the flip up the 
the bundles you've you wrapped flip it up and then go beneath it and wrap the weft of the one you are wrapping i hope this makes sense to you girls but this is how it's done so that the wefts look like they are growing from the base of your ponytail and when you get to the end again you want to grab the last weft and then wrap it round the base of your ponytail make sure you pull as you wrap you pull as you have one get to the end just wrap it around and secure it make sure you pull tight girls make sure you pull tight so that this thing is secure our points are cannot be dripping you know mm -mm, it can't be now this is two now this is the 20 like i said earlier guys so this hair is old so i went in with the most you know just to bring some revival to the curls <laughs> now at this point i was confused should i just stop here or i should add the last bundle which is 22 inches but guys at least i went in and i added it and i was so glad i did Now, at this point, sorry, I've added everything together and now we're going to grab a very fat piece from behind and we're going to use it to wrap around the base of the ponytail, like a styling, okay? Can you just, oh god, this is looking beautiful already. And I grab that and wrap it around the base of the ponytail. Now and separate that so it doesn't disturb you. Yep. We are done, girl. <laughs> we are done. Congratulations if you made it this far. <laughs> yeah, at this point, girl, this is the ponytail. Just look at that. Trust me, if you do this hair and you do not lose your home training or you don't become rude, comment down below. Oh, this is the end of the tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So at this point, I'm going to do my makeup. I'm just joking around. <laughs> Bye. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more of this, um, give this video a thumbs up, support me, and I will know that you are liking such content and I will definitely put up more hair tutorials for you guys. Um, so if you have tried this hair style before, um, comment down below. If you like my makeup look, comment a thumbs up emoji. If you like the hair, comment the hair cutting emoji or something um yeah i think that is all thank you guys so much for watching thank you thank you so much please subscribe to my channel like this video comment down below what you want me to see if there's something you want to ask about the hair or how i did the hair that was not really explained in the video Please comment down below and I will definitely reply to all your questions. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe again and follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. Everything will be in the description box below. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.